Hi, welcome to Chavista Chronicles from Caracas. This is episode number 10. And this week I want to talk about a few things. First, I want to talk about something that I already mentioned last week, which is the opposition trying very slowly. Uh, but you can notice, if you have intuition, you can notice it in a TV, local TV, and radio, local radio stations, and also in the media. Uh, you can notice that they are trying to warm up the streets. And as I say last week, uh, I I believe that they are doing this because they don't have more options. I mean, their Qatar tennis stock, the U.S. Tata, the U.S. regime change operation is stocked. So um, the only option that the opposition and the Chavismo and the U.S. government have is to try to warm up the streets and send people to the streets. I believe, my impression is that that is not happening. I mean, my impression is that Venezuelans are too busy trying to, you know, survive the economic crisis. And especially this time of the year when uh, people are thinking about uh, the Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve and, and, and presents for the kids and things like that. Uh, so, so I believe that they are running out of time, but they are going to keep trying. And that's why uh, Juan Guaidó this week announced uh, a demonstration for next week or in a couple of weeks like a protest, a march, or something like that, which, if you ask me, I believe that, at least under current circumstances, is going to be like the last one when they don't even manage to fill half of a block of people marching around Guaido in the, in the east of Caracas. So, but I want to alert that that campaign is there, is active. They are trying to drive people crazy also uh, uh, with the with the census campaign, making people believe that the Chavistas and the white communists are going to invade their properties and uh, driving people crazy with public services, like public utilities. Uh, so that's going to, that, that's happening, but uh, I believe that it's not going to help them too much. But they are doing that, and, and I, I believe that it's important for me to let you know that that is happening, or at least that's what I feel is happening. So they are talking about strikes, they are talking about uh, uh, driving people crazy with public services. They have the, their media shows, like this crazy and stupid attempt of bringing the elected uh, Guatemalan president this weekend, which is some stupidity, uh, the size of the moon of the sun. So, but they did it, and, and what they wanted to have some headlines in mainstream media worldwide, and they managed to do it, but even uh, from what we read in those uh, uh, media, so those mainstream media outlets, uh, uh, the cover us was very not sympathetic with the whole, you know, event, the whole news. So they want to try to keep doing that kind of shows. Uh, I also wanted to talk today about our anniversary. Uh, we, uh, the 28th of November are going to reach our first anniversary. As you already know, this is an initiative that is independent. We don't receive uh, government from the money, I mean mm -hmm. government from the uh, money from the government or money from, you know, private companies or things like that. And we have been trying to keep the advertising options low because it's not advisable, because we are a relatively a new website, but also because 
we don't want to obfuscate you with tons of ads, but we right now are testing uh, those tools that are there and anyone can use them. I mean, I'm talking about advertisement tools. And we are testing them. We have been testing uh, those tools for the last week or maybe it's like 10 days. Uh, and I believe that we're going to keep uh, testing it. We're trying to tune it to to have the right balance of apps and content and, of course, revenue. So we are trying to uh, tune in the best mix of those three elements uh, for our website in order to turn it off and wait and see how this new campaign that we launched today for calling for donations uh, uh, end up. I mean, for the I mean, for the last six months, donations has been going very slowly, terribly slowly. But the last like three or four weeks has been showing us some increase in donations. It's not something that are is you know taking out. Uh, out of the 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 red numbers that we have, but at least it's something in any donation. Any donation always help us. And of course, if we manage to have more donations, we will be able to to hire uh, proofreaders, uh, to hire better translators, to have people. Uh, hire some people to help us with uh, social uh, media. I mean, uh, I'm talking about social networks, like uh, social media managers and things like that. That will help our work. We, we will make it better and, and, and will help also reach us more people. So that's the idea. We want to improve the website. We have a few plans for next year. We want to redesign some things in the website, but we I wanted to let you know that we are uh, initiating today this campaign because we need to pay for hosting services, for uh, uh, tools that you need to uh, pay in order to uh, improve or change some features inside the website. Uh, so. We are going to be doing that for the next, I don't know, five or six weeks until uh, we migrate from our current you know, hosting service to our new one. We are actually moving because uh, from the problems that we experienced last June or July, uh, we uh, decided at that moment that we didn't want to keep working with the provider that is right now uh, hosting us. So we're going to move. Um, we need to buy some equipment, uh, not too much, but we need some equipment uh, to keep uh, working, uh, to keep doing interviews and things like that. And uh, also, uh, to celebrate the the first anniversary, we're planning to have a, a Facebook Live broadcast on uh, Sunday, November the 27th. And we posted that in the last post that we uh, published a couple an hour ago, maybe, uh, in which we tried to update you about you know this latest donation call. For us, it's very important your donations. It doesn't matter if you, you donate us five dollars or ten dollars. Uh, uh, what matters is that, and, and that's actually one of the most important things. And that's why we choose to open a account that we mentioned in that post that I just uh, mentioned, and uh, because. With Patreon, it's easy for people to uh, make monthly donations, and monthly donations are very important because allow us to to have like a budget to 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 
prepared to do some sort of uh, to organize our expenses and, and to keep the website working in a better way. So that's why we choose uh, Patreon, uh, and, and we want to try to give it a try. I mean, we want to give it a try in order to to see if if with that service we can improve uh, receiving donations that disregarding the nice and good donations that we have received from a free or two, we need more donations. So in order to avoid using advertisement tools. So I just want to let you know that uh, we believe that by February next year, we're going to have a better look on how the donations are moving uh, to evaluate if we can keep going that way. And in February, we're going to decide uh, if we uh, uh, start using uh, advertisement tools. So I wanted to let you know about that. Uh, I want to let you know that we are planning to improve. I mean, we have been doing interviews lately. Uh, we have been doing the, this uh, video podcast every week for the last 10 weeks already, uh, which is nice. Uh, but um, we want to do more things. We want, uh, for example, to to organize interviews online, for example. That's easy to set up, and that way we might, you know, interact with uh, relevant uh, thinkers and activists, uh, not only from Venezuela, but from the U.S. and from Europe, from Asia, Africa. Africa. So um, we are planning to do uh, something in relation to that soon, before the end of the year. So. Stay tuned to 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 help us with that to see what how we're doing, and also stay tuned in order to uh, give us some feedback. I mean, right now that we're going to change uh, service providers, we are planning also to redesign some features in the website. For example, we have been thinking about the categories. Uh, I mean. Uh, for us, it's always complicated to uh, clearly understand the meaning of each category. Not because it's, I mean, not, it's not because it's not clear, but it's because sometimes uh, there's a duality in the sense that we do in terms of where are we located. And sometimes we, uh, I, I put some Venezuelan security uh, we publish some Venezuelan security uh, pieces uh, in international uh, in the international category, for example, and things like that. I mean, I, I want to uh, tune in in a better way the categories and maybe add some new categories. For example, a good friend of ours in New York, William Camacaro, suggests suggests us to add a category. Uh, uh, that we might call uh, solidarity or something like that, which is important because there's a lot of solidarity activities around the world, and maybe if we open a section, a category in our website only talking about those issues, uh, people are going to have like a like a showcase in which you know they can find information about solidarity activities, events, uh, rallies. Uh, news uh, connected to Venezuela, but also with the global south, because we always try not only to present information about Venezuela, uh, uh, but also about you know events in the in the south. So I I I really appreciate your support during these last months. We are uh, overwhelmed by the level that we have reached in terms of internet banking. We, a few weeks ago, we were, uh, in, according to Alexa ranking, in the position 380,000, which is extremely good for a site our age. 
and uh, we were like uh, only like like one hundred thousand uh, uh, points away from Venezuela Analysis, which is one of the best. It's the best website in in English with information about Venezuela and and one of our reference. So we were, were overwhelmed by the speed in which we have been moving in recent months, and we are happy and more committed because of that. So please keep us keep pushing us in order to uh, do a better work. Keep helping us with donations or finding finding uh, 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 as you say uh, volunteers. Sometimes we need volunteers for those things that I mentioned before, like social media manager and people that might help with proofreading or translation. Sometimes, uh, you know, uh, having the right volunteer uh, also help us a lot. So it's not only a matter of donating money, which is important because we have to pay our bills, but also it's a matter of uh, improving, helping us improving the website. And sometimes I understand that people do not have money, but sometimes you know, that people know someone that can donate and we uh, ask you and we want you to help us sharing information uh, of Orinoco Tribune with those ones that might be able to donate some money, which is essential for us to stay online. So thank you again for uh, listening to us. Just to finish, I want to mention and remind you that this next Wednesday there's going to be this voting in Geneva about the seat that Venezuela wants to occupy in the Human Rights Commission. So I want you to pay attention to that because uh, the U.S. already last week initiated a campaign in order to try to um, to derail Venezuela's rightful, uh, you know, uh, bet uh, on having a seat in the Human Rights Commission in Geneva. So thank you very much again. We appreciate your support, your patronage, and uh, we see you next week. Bye-bye.